Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Thursday, November 3rd. Why do we have beet seeds and a little bag of peanut butter? Because we got to go medieval. We have critters out here, and I'm going to try to relocate one of them. So let's see what we got. Riley knows that we got the bait. We can help me clean up a little bit. And I really think it's that groundhog. Groundhogs are vegetarians, and they sure like these collards. Nibbled on the beets a little bit too, ate a few tops on the carrots. So we'll just put this out here, see if we can't relocate him. Now, if anybody's concerned about this trap, this is a live trap, it will not hurt anything. The animal comes in, goes for the bait, steps on this pressure plate, releases this little pin, the gate drops down, and is hooked with those little barbs. They can't open it up. And then we'll just take them up the road and release them. The main reason we're gonna have to go kind of medieval is I don't mind if a possum comes in here and eats some grub worms, but when we got the groundhog coming in here who's a vegetarian and he's tearing up everything that we're starting, we're gonna have to do a little something about that. Now, our cabbages and our bok choy that we started in September, you can see what's left. So, we're gonna go just a little medieval, but you know that saying, crying over spilt milk? Well, we got a jar full of beet seeds, and we've got a coal frame set up, and you know what? Riley likes beets, so I'm gonna plant some more beets. I'm not gonna give up 100%. These still have roots in the ground. There's still a chance they may go ahead and do something. But I'm not gonna count on it. And it wouldn't hurt, it won't hurt to have some beets in between them. So we're just roughing it up a little bit. We're gonna do one row. Then I'm gonna put some mulch in on it. I'm gonna plant these really heavy. That way if I have to share, we have enough that everybody gets something. Good soil contact. I'm gonna use the wood chips because they're nice and light. I'm just gonna cover this whole area. Now we still got a lot of room in this cold frame. I've got some carrots right there, so we'll be careful of that. We've got some cilantro and beets, which we planted earlier. These carrots and some cilantro, but these carrots we planted a couple, a month or so ago. But we're just gonna take this back we're gonna plant some more beets. That way we're succession planting in the coal frame. I'm really not gonna plant anything up against that simply because the sun's gonna be low enough that's just gonna to continue to leave, be shaded and that'll give us a way to get in and out of here. Now when you save your own seeds, you can plant pretty heavy, but you got a bunch of garbage in there. I, haven't, I wasn't real careful about how I clean those up because it really doesn't matter. So I'm planting them real heavy so that we can get the leaves because those are very, very tasty. And I'm just doing soil contact. This is good and moist. So, and beets push right up through that mulch really easily, so I'm going to put a little heavier mulch on it. There you go. I'll come in here and take a look at what we planted the other day. You were with me the other day when we planted corn salad and spinach. We've got baby corn salad and spinach coming up. As long as your ground has mulch on it and it stays warm, things sprout pretty quickly. And the little cabbage we planted a couple days ago, they're still doing fine. And look what came up. We planted that spinach right here a couple times this summer and I actually had one come on up. Now the number of critters that we have around the garden are numerous. We've actually got skunks, we've got possums, we've got raccoons, squirrels, moles, voles, the groundhog, and deer. And all of them like this stuff. Most of our deterrents work pretty well most of the time. Now this 
we're trying. See, they ate that a little bit too. Nibbled on that. But we've tried an. We're trying an experiment. We've taken one of our hot. We've taken those hot hot peppers, and we've made a mixture of that, and we've sprayed that on these leaves. I don't know what it's going to do to us when we taste them, but the smell, from what I understand, is supposed to really keep everything at bay. We'll see if that works. I don't want to lose everything in the garden, but I also don't want to get depressed that everything's getting eaten. So we're doing everything we can. If that hot sauce mixture works, that's great. I think the castor oil is keeping the moles and voles out. I have not seen any damage from them in the last few days. The reason we put the live trap in the garden is we're not interested in doing anything to the other critters that roam around here at night. I'm just interested in the one that has figured out how to get over the electric fence and through the regular fence. That one needs to have a new home. Well, the weatherman says we're going to have some thunderstorms tomorrow, and the garden needs that heavy rain. We've had the nice light soaking, but we really need that heavy rain coming up. What do you got? What do you got? Hey, buddy. Well, Riley says he sees something, so Riley's got something going on, so we're going to wrap this up. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Buddy, you're in the beats. And there he is, the armadillo. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.